right, everyone, it is time to tackle organizing and categorizing inventorying my stamps. Actually, to finish it. I've got a lot done, but there's a long ways to go. My room is pulled back together, and I am pleased with it. But in order for me to know exactly what I really have, I have to literally force myself to do this. So what I do is I take a picture of my stamp set, and I put it in a folder, like um, in this case, uh, this is from, who is this from? Simon Says Stamp. So the picture of the stamp set is gonna go under the Simon Says Stamp. And then um, if it has a name on the stamp set, I will put that in as well. And I'll give it a descriptor like flowers or something like that, happy birthday, whatever it happens to be. So that um, if I'm looking for something, all I have to do is type in a keyword which I'll show you in a minute. And then this is like the Hampton Arts stamps, the flower stamps that you can buy from Hobby Lobby. I think I've seen them like at Michael's as well. And for me to keep up with what I have and haven't done, I'm not sure if you can see this little black dot right there or not, let's see, right there. That is just my way of notating that this has been um, put into my inventory in Evernote. And so if I lose track of where I am, all I have to do is look for that black dot and I know that they are done. Same thing with these. I use these uh, folders from Amazon. Uh, I got a lot of actual complaints about using the more expensive ones and I agree to a point, uh, but for stamp sets, these aren't gonna really tear through. They're cheap enough to replace, so I am using what I have. And so, like I said, this is where it's gonna, this is where it's starting and then it's going into their respective box. When their box is done, it'll have a label on the outside toward the front or on the side according to which way it's facing. This says what's in there. I've cut tabs. In this case, this one says floral and house mouse. And uh, so, like on the floral one, this will say all stamps that are floral, otherwise they're probably in their own category, uh, cross-referenced, like if it's my favorite things or something like that. So this is Evernote, and everything that I just did and took pictures of and put into inventory is here. So in order for me to search, I'm just gonna go up here, and let's type in MFT, for example. And anything that I have that is MFT is going to show up. It's going to either show up as MFT or MFT stamps. Now, when I was first learning this uh, app, it's put in there several ways, but I know that now and I can fix it. And so it is Evernote.com. I did pay for the subscription service so that I can access my inventory from any smartphone tablet or computer. I just have to sign in. It wasn't expensive and I'll leave the link down below if you're interested in this. I do have a small uh, giveaway challenge uh, just for this video. Today is the 24th of August 2018 until let's just say the 26th of August 2018. This is open to all folks from all over the world so if you want to enter just do so i'd like you to share with me your experiences and what is and isn't working for you for stamp inventory and uh, you will be winning a uh, either lightly used or new stamp set from me that um, i will mail you will have um, an hour from the time i draw to get a hold of me with your mailing information otherwise somebody else will when a step set, no, I do not know what I'm giving away yet because I have so many duplicates from not using the system the way it's designed or just being lazy and not putting things in inventory as I should uh, that it just has to be done. So anyway, I will also be doing this with dies coming up soon. I do have an inventory of my AccuCut dies that um, I will make a PDF downloadable file sometime soon so if you'd like to know what I have um, so if you want something cut you will have that information if you have it and you'd like to be please subscribe to my channel leave me a thumbs up share my videos on your social media stay happy and be a blessing take care everyone I'll talk to you soon bye for now